Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for joining me on another uh, video of me opening some Supreme. Got some Yeezys here too from this last week's drop. If you're just finding out about this channel, just clicking on it. Thanks for checking me out. Uh, you guys can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll have more items coming up. Right now I'm doing a shoe raffle as well. You can DM me in my Instagram account with your shipping address for your um, to enter. Basically that's how I'm doing it because yeah. You can look at my last video. I've got like instructions. We're gonna get into this first supreme item. Well, actually, it's my only supreme item for today. But yeah. So let's see. What week is this from? Week 13. It's week 13. <laughs> okay. So uh, first off, for the goodies, I got some uh, those little weird green pictures from that one artist, um, Chris Cunningham. Yeah. He did these weird graphics. And some people are into it, whatnot, whatever. Let's go ahead and get into this uh, zip up sweater. First off, I'm gonna show you the tags on the bag. See, there it is. Regular Supreme Ziploc bag, or I mean, it's probably not Ziploc brand, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pull it out here. Looks like they did put a piece of tissue paper in between. Lately, I've really been into that black and white look. I don't know. I don't know why. I just have. But yeah, so this material definitely feels like some sort of like athletic warm-up sort of material. Nothing super thick at all. It's really thin and breathable. Not meant to keep you really warm. But here's the tag on the back of the neck. If anybody wants to see that up close, legit check-in. Got your Supreme zipper. That's kind of a cool touch. I like that. And you got these stars in there, that's pretty cool. On the inside left you got this tag, standard supreme tag there. And that is about it, got the cool white stripe on the side, right? Gotta love that stripe, so I'm just gonna throw this on, I'll switch out the tops and tell me what you think, people. And here it is, it is a size large, it fits me really nice, I think this is a pretty small size large, honestly, it could be wider here for like a regular large fit, I guess maybe it's like a slim athletic sort of fit, since that's kind of material that it is, definitely polyester for sure. No cotton in this, or well, what did it say on the tag? Yeah, 100% polyester. You know. All right, we are now gonna get into the Yeezy box. Now, I've had two pairs of these in the past, bought and sold them in the $400 range. It's just crazy how Yeezy prices have just changed as they've become more widely available. Uh, the Adidas Yeezys, that is. Um, so we're gonna get into this. These are from Foot Locker. These are legit. So many fakes out there right now. It's not even funny. I've had my fair share of run-ins with fakes with this pair even, this colorway, and a couple other colorways of Yeezys, so I'm really not trying to pay resale for Yeezys anymore. Um, yeah, it's just how, just how it is now. Let's look at this uh, label here, so you guys might wanna... Ooh. There's the box. The times. And so now we're going to break into one of my grails right here. There it is. Such a sick colorway. I definitely dig this shoe. So you got the boost cushioning that your foot rides on really comfortably. You got this rubber cage that holds that boost into place, a little bit more sturdy. And uh, you've got a full prime knit upper. You do have a cage on the inside of the toe box here. And it's like webbed sort of in there. So it, it kind of locks your toes. If you got like weird toes, you definitely want to size up for this because it really hugs the front of your foot. Like that's just how most all the Yeezys are designed. They just kind of hold your the front of your foot. I've noticed that with pretty much all of them, even like the 700s, 500s, like they're all just kind of like that. So yeah, I got another fresh pair of 350s in the collection. I think I was down to just, yeah, I am just down to just the one pair that I've worn a bunch. And I try not to wear those anymore just because I don't really want them to get too wore out to where I don't want them on the shelf. So, yeah. Uh, now, let's go to On Feet. You guys can get a close-up look at these. Even though they've released like a million times, everybody has On Feet videos already. There's probably like way better than mine. But we're going to do it anyways. Let's go.
Before we end the day, before I say goodbye, I do want to share one Bible verse with you guys from the YouVersion Bible app on my phone. This is just a daily verse of the day that they do every, every day. First of the day, right? Okay. Romans 15, 5 through 6. May God, who gives this patience and encouragement, help you live in complete harmony with each other as is fitting for followers of Christ Jesus. Then all of you can join together with one voice, giving praise and glory to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bam, so this verse is telling us as Christians, we just need to be united. We need to understand Jesus is our Lord, like we live to serve him, and everybody around us is like someone we can serve. And when we serve others, it's like serving God, like serving Jesus, that's what the Bible says. So let's make sure we're not just like pointing fingers at other Christians, just like bashing each other. You know, if you got some Christians, they got different business ventures, different lives than you, like different perspectives, that's okay, we can be different, but uh, let's just like come together under Jesus, know that he is king, that's really what being a Christian is all about, living for him each moment, just trying to be love and encouragement to everybody around us and uh, yeah it's okay to have like some hype items to have a little resale business on the side that is totally cool just make sure God is number one that is key and uh, yeah you'll be good to go so love y'all thanks again so much for showing me on this video and I'll see y'all next time